The Emerald Opera is excited to embark on a new direction for the organization with this lady right here, Mary Jane Johnson at the helm. Thank you for being here, and I'm excited. We did a story about a month ago with what is happening at the Emerald Opera. Share with our, our viewers right now some great, exciting things happening. We've changed this year's season mm -hmm. pretty much yeah. to make it a little more accessible to everybody. And our first show is Speed Dating Tonight, which is next weekend. That is next weekend, and one of the things that you're doing is giving more times to go watch it, not just having one show a night. You've kind of split it up, what, 7 yes. to 9, right? 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock performances on fr next Friday and Saturday night, and it's only an hour long. So it's a great right. night out for a family or for just anybody. And most people have this misconception of the opera. Oh, this is, there's, it just takes so much time, mm -hmm. and you're there. This is not it at all. I no. mean, it, it goes that quick. It goes that quick, and that's kind of my mission mm -hmm. uh, for this year, for sure. That it be a little bit more, sh more, it be more short, right. it be shorter, right. so that people will want to come and go eat after, go eat before, and they still can. The young people can can come and come late, like right. the nine o'clock performance. You can and hang out in downtown Amarillo, yes. enjoy, go enjoy a few drinks uh, and, and dinner in downtown over at Six Car Brewery or Crush, enjoy right. that, then head over, grab the show. Now you have done this or been familiar with this in some way or another in terms of speed dating tonight. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's interesting because you think it's more for young people, but right. uh, we did it at, I run the Taos Opera Institute also in, in Taos, New Mexico, and we did it last summer and the people that loved it the most were 50 and older. Really? I think they just had memories and they remembered dating and everything that yeah. goes on in dating and the weird people you meet. meet. Right. And the weird people meet more weird people and they end up liking each other. So this is a charming, charming show. It is just a crazy mixture. So put this on your calendar. That's coming up October 26 and 27. Two shows a night, seven and nine. And remember, um, we're moving things this year over to the Amarillo College Concert Hall. Yes, yes. Yeah. This year, most of the things will be at the college. And we have one thing that's going to happen in February at the Amarillo Little Theater on February 1st. Oh, very so good. So they, they've been gracious enough to let us come there. Uh, one of the things that really stands out to me about speed dating tonight is you had so much local talent to choose from mm -hmm. and the amount of different people from different professions that are involved. It's, it's really odd that that's true, but like a neuro, true. You got like a neurosurgeon? Yes, yes, we have, we have all kinds of people. And people that when, in the community when they come and go, well, I didn't know they could sing, or I could, didn't know they could do that. It's, it's a real mix, and I'm just tickled to death about it. Uh, that's how I, I feel when people see me walking, uh, chewing gum at the same time. They're like, wow, he, he's <laughs> somewhat more coordinated there. Uh, but talk about the other shows real quick that you guys uh, are going to be working on well, a few after, of the operas. After this, we're doing a Messiah Sing-In okay. at Polk Street Methodist Church on December the 8th. And that's for everybody in the community to come and bring their Messiah scores and just kind of get excited about the, about the holiday season. Yeah. And then in February, we're doing a show at the Amarillo Little Theater, the Mopai Sisters, which are three... Kenyan triplets that do everything. They're trained classically. It's the beginning of Black History Month. Okay. So they train classically in San Antonio and they go out and do all kinds of music, not only classical but jazz, gospel, all kinds of things. And then the 16th of February, we're doing Lift Every Voice again that used to be done years ago. Right. And we're doing that in the Amarillo Ho College Concert Hall Theater. And then another concert down at WT on March 2nd, which still is Black History uh, venue yeah. type thing. And then uh, our big, big show this year is a gala event on April the 6th at the Globe News Center, okay. which we're bringing in as much local and people that have gone out from this area and, and come back and have oh, had a successful wait. career. And it'll be all kinds of opera scenes, arias, things like that. And our fall to all will be the night before, and it's also on the stage of the Globe News Center. Well, and Music Variata, don't forget that. That's um, May 11th, so. Mary Jane, I'm excited that, that you're a part of the Emerald Opera. I'm glad that you're here. I'm excited about the changes that you guys are going through. Would you guys do me a favor, though? Would you go to the Emerald Opera office and, and buy your tickets? You can go over there, call, buy them, pick them up. Uh, tell us about how, how to do that. Okay, Mary you Jane. can call 372-7464. Mm -hmm. That's the Opera office. The tickets are $25 for adults, 15 for students, maybe 10. Um, 
it's been varied. Right. I don't know what that is. One or the other. And buy them at the Opera Company or PanhandleTickets.com. PanhandleTickets.com. Mary Jane, thank you so much for being well, on the show. Thanks for having me. Um, and and listen, it. if we don't support the arts, no one else will. So please reach out, be a part of this, and go enjoy a wonderful night out next weekend. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Thanks.